Welcome food lovers, thanks for stopping by. Today we are going to make sweet dreams are made of this. Chicken cordon bleu, which is a classic chicken dish. I love this dish, it's a taste of comfort to me. So, voila le poulet, we have the chicken already. I've already pounded it flat, or at least, at least as flat as I can pound it. We have salt and pepper on one side, freshly ground black pepper and Himalayan sea salt, which is my favorite salt of all time. So we have the chicken. Next, ham. You can use regular ham. I love prosciutto. Prosciutto, which is dry cured ham, and it actually fits perfectly the length of the whole piece of chicken. So it's perfect. Next, we have Swiss cheese. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this about here and then you just simply roll. So as I said, when you are cooking, it's all from the heart. So if you like a certain type of ham, use that ham. If you like a certain cheese, use that cheese. So now I like to have the thinnest part of the chicken closest to me. And then I just simply roll, comme ça, just like that. And then I have toothpicks. I like to use two. Don't forget that you have toothpicks in your chicken. And there we go. So that's that, as simple as that. Roll it as tightly as possible and it's ready to go, okay? Now, I've already prepared the flour. It has paprika and freshly ground black pepper in it. So we are going to dredge the chicken cordon bleu in the flour. I like to make sure it's well covered, so I sprinkle and then I dip both ends and there we go. So that will help to bind the egg wash which comes next and the egg wash is just simply an egg with a little bit of water. That's it. So next comes the egg wash and so we're just covering the whole chicken, just like this. So cover it as well as you can. I know the toothpicks are in the way, but uh, do what you can do. There we go. Do the best you can. All right. So that's quite well covered. And this will help to bind the next coating, which is breadcrumbs. So in this case, I love to use panko breadcrumbs. You can use seasoned breadcrumbs, whatever breadcrumbs you have. If you don't have breadcrumbs, you can make them. If you have day-old bread, for example, just put the bread in a food processor and then make your own breadcrumbs. So there we go. Um, so that's breadcrumbs and Parmesan cheese. So that actually makes an absolutely delicious crust for your chicken cordon bleu. Now next, we have, waiting here, butter and olive oil. And we're going to be cooking in a cast iron pan. I've mentioned before, I love to cook on cast iron. And uh, it's, uh, it requires a little more cleanup, more cleanup than uh, a Teflon pan would, but that's okay. It's also good for you. You get a little bit of iron from using cast iron. So there we go. So that's nicely coated and I have the silicone tongs ready to go. Now make sure that you be careful with the handle because the handle conducts the heat. And the last thing you want to do is to burn your fingers. Okay, so this is going right now. Okay. So now um, our butter has melted nicely and our olive oil is nice and warm. So now I'm ready to put this on. What we want to do is make sure that this is ready to go. What I'm doing is one of the tests that you can do is to uh, actually sprinkle a few breadcrumbs on to the oil and if they start to sizzle then it's ready to go. So it is ready. And so what we're going to do is nicely brown this on all sides. And once it has browned, then um, what we're going to do is put it into an oven-friendly baking dish. C, 
seam side down so it stays together and bake it in the oven. So while that's cooking, I will show you the final product. This is how easy chicken cordon bleu is. So excuse me, this is the final chicken product. It's delicious and people love it. And they'll just wonder, how did you make this delicious chicken? Just always make sure you take your toothpicks out. Thank you. Enjoy your chicken.